Dengan ibu mayam, I senang hari. Thank you for watching our video recently. Today, I come with another cooking video. Today, we will cook na tomba. This fish is a fresh water fish. Dajo told me it looked like miracle in Manipur. In Japan, Japanese people doesn't eat this kind of fish. So, this fish is caught from a fresh water lake. We went to another city to buy this fish. For this fish, Dajo will help me prepare. Then, we also prepare yongjak shinju. This yongjak brought by Dabo Bo from Manipur recently. That's why this is the very expensive dish today. Thank you so much, Dabo Bo. And then, the dish that I really like, Sobo Iromba, we also prepare it today. So, let's go to prepare together. Now, we will cut the fish. So, this part, Dajo will help me. So, Dajo already cut the fish. Let's marinate it. Tomari. Cooking salt. Matcha butter a little bit. Garam masala. And a little bit of mustard oil. It's done, so we will mix it and then put in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Okay, the marination is done, so now we will fry it. We will put the oil. I will also use my tip to not make the oil come out. We will put a little bit of salt. Let's put the fish inside. Look, the oil not coming out. I finished frying the nga. Now let's prepare nga tomba, mustard oil. So here, I already prepared the potato, onion, tomato, ginger, fresh chili, garlic. First, we will fry the billet. And also the onion and garlic inside the oil. Ginger. Chili. Summery powder. Matcha butter. Haribo. To make the smell of the fish go away, I will put a little bit of hint. The chopped tomato. Potato. Some fresh chive. Snap pea. Today, I have the umaro akupa from my mother-in-law, so I will use it. I will put water to make the color beautiful. I will put the cashmere chili, the sliced tomato. We will wait until it boils up. It's boiling up, so I will put the fish. At last, we will put the salt. We will cover it and cook it for some time at a low heat. Like this. The liquid inside is consistent now, so it's done. We will turn it off. Wow, smells so good. I will prepare for the soy boom irumba now. I will put the potato and the soy boom inside the water to boil first. I will put the chili also. I will close it up and then cook for some time with one whistle. Now we will prepare the expensive young cha for the shinzu. First, I will take off the cover. We don't have the yonko, so we will use the spoon to remove it. The young cha, I already removed the cover, so we will cut it now. I baked the ngari and the chili already, so now let's make the singzu. I will put a little bit of salt inside here. Smart it. It's 
is done, so I will mix it with the yong chak. I feel it's so spicy on my hand. Ta-da! It's done! Let's open up the soy boom iron bar. Wow, the soy boom smells so good. I really like the soy boom. Can you take out the cover? Can you put salt? Wow, it smells so good. I will use my hand to smash it properly. Wow, it's so hot. Done. Okay, so what did you cook today? So today I cooked the sobu iromba, yongja singzu, mm. and the nga tomba. Wow, it looks tasty. Mm. Okay, so shall we start? Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Okay. Oh, the, the yongja singzu smells so good. Yeah. yeah, so the thing is, the fresh water like Nga Thomba uh. in Japan is uh. very, very rare to find it. Yeah. So we travel like how many kilometers? 35 kilometers? 35 kilometers to just buy the fish. Yes, so like, yeah, so they caught it from a lake. Mm. So we are going to try it. So I tried once, but it's not this type of fish. So it's a different type, like from Thailand, but it does not taste mm. good. So this is from Japan. So, so this is the best fish for you. Yes, yeah. I like I like the so, fresh water fish. So if you want the yokchak singju to be more spicy, uh, you can put the u morok pickle. Uh, morok pickle. Uh, I really like that spicy. Yeah, so yeah, give it. I don't like that much spices, so that's okay. why I yeah. Thank you. Let me take some of the part. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh my god! Yeah, so hungry. Yes. Smell do. this one. So hungry. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Okay. Itadakimasu. Soy boom. Soy boom. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. I want to try the fish, so. Mm. The fish has a lot of bone. Please be careful, ne? Hi. Yeah, the fish is, yeah. The fish smells so good, ne? Yes. How mm. is it? Really good. Mm. Oh my god, it's been after a long time. The so, smell of the fish is not good. Mm, mm, mm. So, you taste me, mm. put the hint. Right. So, today I put a little hint okay. inside to take out the smell of the fish. Mm, really good. Mm. Mm. So good. Yeah. But isn't it a little spicy for you? Yes, it is. <laughs> a little sour of the tomato mm. and the masala. Mm. So, all the flavor is yes. so good. Yeah, all the flavor goes inside this mm. fish. So. Oh my god, the fish is so good. Yeah. So we have two different types of nga mm. This is cooked by frying, right? After frying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also make the small pieces, you know, that's called nga toiba. Nga toiba. Nga toiba tongba. Nga toiba tongba. Yes. So that one is the one that you eat in your mapam chakuba, mm. and you find it a bit difficult, right? A lot of bone also. Yeah. Yeah. Here, like you can see, yeah, the bone carefully, but yeah, carefully, right? Yeah. See. I really like the spicy food, so I will put some umarok ngari pico. This smells so good and also spicy. Yeah. How about you? It's so spicy, I cannot eat much. Okay. Yeah, mm. this, the Yongchak Tsingju, we haven't talked about it. So the Yongchak Tsingju, how, how is it? Like, did you find it a bit different, the taste? Mm. Because not so, like in Vietnamese, uh, in Vietnam, you don't eat the, like uh, this one, right? Stinky beans, you don't have, right? Mm. Thailand, think, they have it. Thailand. I think we don't have. Yeah, Thailand, they eat, I know. Thai people, and mm. then the, I think Filipino, mm. or the Indonesian, I forgot. Probably Filipino, they eat this stinky beans. Mm. Yeah, so, hmm. and Myanmar people maybe, I'm not sure, but yeah, you like it? I really like it. Good. 
Mm. Eat it, eat it. But for me, the fish is a little difficult to eat. Mm. It have a lot of bone. Okay. Can you? Okay. Mm. So good. Mm. I come check out the bone for you. It's time. So I heard that Manipuri people really like the fish. Yes. Good. The variety of the fish is not much, no? The variety, we have varieties, really a lot. When I was in Manipur, mm -hmm. um, we went to the we went to the supermarket. Uh, we went to the market, right? Right, right. right. I just see the dry one a lot, mm -hmm. oh, we but went, the fresh one is not much, no? We did not went to the fresh one market actually. Oh. We went to the Moirang, right? You are talking about the mm. Northak Lake one, right? So but, that is. That is just the place where they, you know, make the dry fish. Mm. Yeah, we did not. Mm. So inside the imam market, you remember we mm. went to the imam market, mm. and there were like inside it there were fish. Maybe mm. my mom, mom told told you that it might be stinky, so don't go inside or something because you were wearing panek, mm -hmm. and maybe your sister was also there probably, so you did not see. Maybe next so. Time, let's go. Next time, let's go. So normally in my home, mm -hmm. my mom always teach us the. Um, Fish with not much bone, like mm -hmm. the fish like this, because here afraid the bone will stuck here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes this bone also gets stuck. I really like the sinju also. Mm. Yeah. How about the iromba? You only eat the iromba. <laughs> <laughs> just another story. So during the exam, mm. on the first day of the exam, the parents, I mean the mom, mm. will cook the fish. Mm. For the kid who is giving the exam, mm. and then they will ask to eat. I mean, like it's kind of a, you know, like a belief that you know. Mm. So they will ask to eat the uh, head mm. or the face, mm. so that they can, you know, come out as a topper, you know, or something like that. Oh, to, to get a good mark. Oh. Yeah. Do you have any exam? It it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Vietnam, it's the red bean. Mm. It will be good luck. Mm. Can you give me some irumba? Okay. So good. This spicy is really good. So, mm. what will you do if the our soy boom run out? Our soy boom, like we have some stock of soy boom. Mm. So if it runs out, so how? What will you eat? What type of irumba will you eat? But we have some stock, right, in our fridge for the sodum. But if it goes out, you know, if it does not have anything, uh -huh. so what will you eat? It's okay, I can make it. Mm -hmm. So we will go to the supermarket to mm -hmm. buy the bamboo soup, mm -hmm. the normal one. Takenoko? Takenoko. Mm -hmm. And then I will put the salt, mm -hmm. a little salt, and mm -hmm. keep it uh, outside. After some time, it will become sodum. I don't know how they make it, so I'm asking you. So maybe it might be oh, similar. So my parents, mm -hmm. they also plant um, bamboo, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of bamboo soot. Mm -hmm. When we cannot finish the bamboo soot, mm -hmm. my mom will cut it mm -hmm. and then put it to make the sobum. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This nga tong bai is really good. I mean, I cannot eat the fish, but <laughs> <laughs> I can eat another. The potato also yeah. really good. Yeah. Mm. Let me, this will be good. This one. Sorry? I will take it out for you. The bone. Mm. Can you take soy boom for me? <laughs> oh my god. So this is a soy boom like we, yeah. Hey. Okay, I will hide. Behind this soy boom, Iromba. I really like this. More? Thank you. Okay. This is so good. Really? Mm. So boom, Iromba? Mm. Why is more spicy and spicy? When I eat it, when I started eating, mm -hmm. it's normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
But now, mm -hmm. oh my god, so spicy. The dress I wear today mm -hmm. is the new dress that I received from that your friends. The, yeah, so that the uh, fennec and the fee uh, like was given to you from my friend Suras Bala. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so she is a friend of mine and also she also, you know, uh, work with Poiriton before. Mm. Yeah, like uh, to, you know, like when he was doing the coaching and all, you know. Mm. So everybody's in our families know her mm. and she's a good friend of ours. So thank you Suras Bala. Yeah, she thank really, you. She really like it. And, and she also write for me a lovely message. Yes. Oh my god, thank you so much. Okay, so we are all we are done. How is the dish today? Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel nostalgic about my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I almost cry. <laughs> yeah, so thank you very much for cooking authentic Manipuri dish. And yeah, Sogumi Romba was really good. So now you have become an expert in making Sogumi Romba. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, the fish, the taste is really good. So since it's a freshwater fish, mm -hmm. yeah, it seems like it's a miracle or something like that. We have a something variety. I told you right before, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, and thank you to Bobo for bringing the mm, thank yongsak. you, thank you, Da Bobo. Yeah. All the way from Manipur, we got to test the yongsa for this year. Yeah, maybe only yeah, this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we had the dried one, but this is the fresh one. So, mm -hmm. yeah, even though like when uh, it has uh, like a uh, more beans inside, it would be more much more tastier. But this is also really tasty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot of from him. Yeah. That's why. Okay, so we finished eating. Thank you so much for watching our videos. And keep supporting us. Yeah, please. <laughs> bye bye.